All right, in this video, I'm going to teach my advanced students how to find the rate of change using linear regression. So we're looking at problems number 9 and 10. And uh, let me zoom in. All right, we're going to be using your TI-30XS multi-view. So take that out. All right, um, I want you to go ahead and reset your calculator so we can all start from the same place. You can reset your calculator by hitting on and clear at the same time. Please do that now. I'll do the same thing by hitting second, zero, two. Okay. All right. Now hit the data button on your calculator to get to the table. So in this case, I skipped to the step where you have the table. Uh, you know, on other problems, you have to make the table yourself. So we've seen how to um, take these problems and come up with a table. So imagine that there was another problem behind this, but um, let's skip to the point where we have this table of values. It would be easy enough to um, use the slope formula and do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, but I thought it would be fun to show you um, another feature of your calculator, um, linear regression, that will calculate that as well directly. And uh, basically, let's type in this table into the calculator. So for the x values, we have negative 6 and 2. So let's just type in negative 6, enter, 2, enter. So there's our negative 6 and 2. Now use your right arrow key to get over into the y values. And now let's type in negative 7 and 5. So there's negative 7 and 5. OK. So linear regression will find, um, well, the equation of a line through two or more points. Um, and you can do that by doing second data. And we want to pick two variable statistics. So you can either scroll down to 2 and hit enter, or you could have just hit the number 2. Um, this is good for what we want, so just hit enter a few times until you get to here. Now, the rate of change is the slope. If you scroll down, the slope is on this list. Okay, scroll down until you have your A, B, and R. Um, remember y equals mx plus b? Well, um, this a value is like your m, and b is still your b. So um, we actually have an entire equation here, y equals 1.5x plus 2. All right, that's the equation of the line through, through these two points. Um, but the rate of change is just the slope, and we know that the slope is this, um, you know, what we usually call M, but in your calculator, it's A. Now, um, one more thing. If I want to uh, write this as a fraction, because that's usually what we want, so right now we know that the rate of change is 1.5, um, but what is 1.5 as a fraction? Let's just quit out of here. You know that um, if you need to, you can use the toggle key to change a decimal to a fraction. Okay, so we've got 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 is the rate of change. Alright, go ahead and pause the video and try to do number 10 on your own. Alright, I'm going to assume that you did that and now we're uh, checking your answer to see how you did. Um, so once again, if you just go to the table of your calculator, and we're just going to type in uh, for x values 2 and 10. OK, so there's 2, enter, 10, enter. So there's 2 and 10. Arrow over to the y values. I'll just type over these. And the y values are negative 2 and 4. So there's negative 2, enter, 4, enter. And uh, again, second data to get to the statistics. So second data, 
we want two variable statistics. Just hit enter. Okay. And then scroll down until you see that little ABR. Here it comes. Okay. And it's the A value that is the um, slope, that 0.75. Okay, um, now let's see, we can go ahead and write that down. So the rate of change is 0.75, but let's go ahead and get that as a fraction as well. So 0.75, toggle it, and so the rate of change is 3 fourths. Okay, and that's how you use your TI-30 XS MultiView with a little linear regression to uh, help you calculate the slope. Now is that re really easier than just doing um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1? No, it's, it's not easier, but I wanted to show you another feature of your calculator that you may find handy um, one day.